I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. Take what resonates, leave what does not. What are you struggling with? Death card, Knight of Cups reversed in the world. What's coming towards you? Change. Wheel. All right. Okay. Let's see. It's... There we go. That's good. Trying to get used to my new camera angle tripod, so. All right. What's coming at you is change. Overall energy is new opportunities. Moving on from something. What are you struggling with? We have the death card. We have the nine of cups and we have the world. I feel like you're having trouble reaching out to someone. I feel like you're, I kind of feel like your emotions are upside down. You don't want to let go of something. I feel that there's a feeling that you're, you have that you don't want to let go of. It could be a relationship. It could be a feeling of, it could also be a feeling of you're not going to succeed and you're not going to be successful and that your life isn't going to be what you want it to be and that you, you, you're kind of holding on to that. Could be subconsciously that you're holding on to that and that you're having trouble with that. Um, you're having trouble with putting an end to that. I feel like you're having trouble with change. I feel like there's something that you're clinging to and that you're holding on to and that you don't want to let go of. What you need to focus on is you need to see, I feel like you need to put an end to worrying about things that you can't control. I feel like it's just being happy right here, like right in the middle, like being happy right here in this moment. That it's about, we have the nine of swords, which has the devil, the face of the devil on the devil card in this deck. That's the face right there. And I feel like you, you need to just, let go of those things that you can't control. Let go of those things that are holding you back. And to be strong and to be confident and to enjoy what it is that you have right now. I feel like you're not focusing on the positive. I feel like you're focusing on the negative. I feel like you're missing out on opportunities. And sometimes we get so caught up in negative things or we get, it's like, a, what do they say? The dog with the bone. And like, I feel like that's what it is here. Like this here is that you're struggling with something and you're not like letting it go. You're not moving on from it. And you're worrying about things that you can't control. You're not enjoying the, the current time, the current moment, what you have going on right now. I feel like you're building something, like you're trying to put something together. Either you're working on a relationship or an opportunity or a career or finances or I feel like you're trying to build something, but there's a blockage there with this here. And there's a blockage that you have to see that that's what you have to release in order for things to move forward. Sometimes we don't realize that we have blockages um, and we don't realize that sometimes our own uh, subconscious thoughts are holding us back. Like we, we're putting limitations on ourselves. We're saying, 
that we can achieve what we can't achieve everything, like we're putting limitations on it. Future energies here is the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. I feel like it's a victory. Victory is yours, but you have to step out of the shadows first. You have to come out from behind, from being behind. You have to step up to the forefront, step up to the plate. I feel that it's um, emotional fulfillment for you. But I also, I feel like it has to do a lot with, with the mind. Like we have the cups and we have the swords here. And I feel like it's that emotional fulfillment for you. But it could just be that you're so proud of yourself for kind of turning things around on your own and not being in this Nine of Swords energy. And saying, I'm not going to worry about it that you're going to move on, right? That you're, you're saying, okay, I'm looking towards the future and do I want my future with this Nine of Swords in it or do I not? Star, love that. Aquarius, hope, direction. This card's been coming out. I think all of the readings that I've done today this card has come out and I feel like there's opportunity coming in for you and don't miss the boat on that because you're focusing on other things. Don't miss the boat because you're, you're stuck in this energy. Change is coming towards you. Change is, is coming at you. It's theirs for the taking. Are you ready to receive like this and this I feel is like this change this opportunity is coming in for you again this right four of cups four of cups repeating energy here opportunities coming in for you don't miss it because you're busy over here focusing on this right nine of swords and looking at everything as an opportunity every day every moment every interaction like I said before every day we're making hundreds if not thousands of choices and decisions and processing stuff every day so at every moment you have an opportunity to change things and to turn things around all right let's grab an angel answers Oh, two came out. Romance, romance. And in the near future. Oh, in the near future, there's some romance headed your way. <laughs> Love that. Um, I'm focusing on this dove here and that freedom and that flight. And I feel like you have to work on this stuff first, right? It says in the near future, and we have romance. But this is what you have to work on first. You have to be healthy, you have to be whole, you have to be, there are things that you have to let go of, there are things that you have to work on within yourself before you can give to someone else. If you can't give to yourself, how can you give to someone else? Nobody's perfect, no we don't completely heal ourselves. There are situations that have happened that have that affect us that we shapes who we are and we can have those walls up but I feel like there's a lot of stuff emotional stuff going on especially with the nine of cups being turned upside down is that you you're feeling upside down that you're and with this nine of swords is what you have to look at is you have to realize that you have to let go of those things that you can't control um, and to be happy in the moment these, these two here I feel like are the key cards. It's being happy with the day and in the moment. And each day saying, what can I do to improve? What, what can I do to release this Nine of Swords? I feel like this is the energy that you're in, but this is what you have to focus on. And that brings in this, right? An opportunity. And with this being here, it could be a new romance that's coming in. It also could be a current relationship that you have that becomes stronger. It could be a friendship, right? It, it could be friendships, family members, partnerships, 
Um, but you have to feel good within yourself first, right? You have to have that emotional fulfillment within yourself first. And to say, yeah, I'm going to step up and I'm going to take care of my needs first. Is that selfish? Yes, it is. But it's also that if you're feeling happy for yourself, within yourself, and you have that emotional fulfillment with yourself, that that spreads to the people that are around you. And you can give that to other people that are around you. Because you're feeling like, oh, okay, my cup is full. So now, you know, like when you're on the airplane, when you put on your oxygen mask first. And that way you can help other people. So I feel like in this relationship, helping yourself first and then you can help other people. Sometimes we don't see that we have to help ourselves first or we feel guilty or we feel like, oh, well, you know, that's a bad thing. That's a selfish thing. That's not a, you know, that's not a good thing. But in a healthy way, it is a good thing. Obviously, you know, being narcissistic or, you know, that's, that's not a good thing um, in a negative way where it's at the detriment to other people, but if really it's helping other people in your other relationships because you're helping yourself, you're feeling good about yourself, you're feeling positive about yourself, you're feeling this fulfillment within yourself, you're feeling happy and guided and directed within yourself. And you wanna share that with other people and they see how good that you're feeling. Um, it's all about perspective and how you see it. Number 33, communication. So I feel that there is communication that has to be had between you and someone else. And I also feel that that goes back here. Your communication with somebody could be totally upside down. But I feel like you have to figure out how you feel first, what you want to do. That's a, sometimes we feel like, well, we're talking, but our words don't really mean anything, right? They have no emotion. They have no feeling. They have no truth behind it. And sometimes we have to take that time and we have to say, okay, how do I really feel about this person or this situation? Or what do I really want to have happen? What is my truth? And to speak your truth, that communication of your truth, because you will never get to the bottom of the situation if you are saying things that you feel the other person wants to hear. If you're not speaking your truth and saying, you know what, this is how I feel. And that no matter what that person has to say is that you've spoken your truth even if they don't agree with you or they try to make you feel bad or you know you say well you need to acknowledge that whether you feel this is right or wrong but this is my truth communication so communication is very key here communication is very important but i feel the first thing is communication with yourself and and your truth all right we have strength, being strong in this situation because I feel that this is not an easy situation for you. Um, I feel that it is something that makes you feel uncomfortable and it makes you feel awkward, but it's a situation that I feel is important for you to have that freedom to move forward. Let's grab a Whispers of Love. Oh, we grabbed two. We have You Are Limitless. You can do anything you can, you choose. And we have Act As If Your Partner Is Here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. So that could be this within the future romance. It could be that connection of that person coming in. And what does it feel like to have that person and to have that love and to have that relationship and to put yourself in that energy so that you can attract that person in. If you're putting up walls, if you're being shut down, if you're being emotionally unavailable, right? With this Knight of Cups upside down, emotionally unavailable. If that is what you are doing right now, then that person is not going to be able to come in because you are being emotionally unavailable and you're pushing that person away. And that's what you have to realize, emotionally unavailable, again, with this um, Nine of Swords. Um, shut down for some reason. And explore that. Ask yourself that communication, release, right? Working on that so that this can come in for you. All right, for some reason I'm feeling like a wisdom of the oracle, so let's grab one of these. I think one flipped over. Yeah. Milk and honey. That's my favorite one. Yay. <laughs> 
milk and honey we have the cute little baby elephant that is swimming in the bowl of milk and honey and this is about unlimited possibilities the sweet time of life um knowing that things will happen for you we've got the beautiful rainbow there it's you're aligning yourself, you're working on yourself to have these sweet rewards, to have these things happen for you, to just have that bliss of feeling that fulfillment of having everything that you, you, you want, your guide, your direction, that true north, right? Especially with the star, the star being here. It's time to seize good fortune and embrace your destiny and to enjoy life and to not get caught up in these sort of things and realize that those are trivial and realize speak your truth what is important to you and coming out of the shadows and and not holding yourself back from opportunities or putting so many walls up around yourself that you're not truly able to enjoy right seize the day seize the moment um, enjoy each day and maybe give yourself that little reward each day and do something for yourself that makes yourself feel good um, telling yourself that you're proud of yourself and happy for yourself and that I'm so proud of myself for being strong I'm so proud of myself for being positive today um, and that slowly starts to become a new habit for you to where you are feeling better and you're feeling positive and you're and you're saying okay I feel like I'm more in control of my life that everything will be okay that I will be able to handle things I'll be able to deal with things and I want to have my milk and honey bath right and I want to enjoy that rainbow and enjoy the time that I have today it's all about your perspective yes there are days where we feel down where we feel sad where we feel off um, where things happen and we're like okay if one more things happen I can't deal with it but it's okay today's not going to be one of those good days but tomorrow it will be better tomorrow it will be better and it will be positive and that I will make an effort like yesterday um, I felt very I didn't sleep good that yesterday the night before and so I felt really tired and I was like oh, I don't feel like doing anything I just want to lay in bed the whole day but I ended up going out to the barn and I was so shocked I was so surprised but pleasantly surprised about how just being again being how the barn works works magic for me and how it turned my whole attitude my whole energy turned turned everything around for me and made me feel so good and it went from a day that was starting out as oh it's gonna be one of these days to oh I, I had such a great time today because I know that that's my happy place that's my place where I can go and I can feel good and I can turn things around I know that that's my and like I've said many times before what are those tools that you have those things that you can do um, that that will help you turn around sometimes it's just listening to music sometimes there are certain songs or music that makes me feel better makes me feel motivated gets me moving and gets me out of my funk right what are those things that you have that you can turn yourself around so that you can see things from a different perspective you can see things as this and not as that all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and I'll see you next time